young Diego, I am going to tell you a great secret. A secret? I love secrets, Grandpa. I know you do. But remember, you can share this secret with no one. Hi, Daddy. Grandpa's going to tell me a secret. Oh, don't tell me you're filling the boy's head with more of your wild stories. There is no need to share the secret with your father, Diego. He won't believe you anyway. Somebody around here has to live in the real world. Better go wash up, Diego. Dinner's in five minutes. Now remember, no more fairy tales. So can you tell me now, huh, huh, Grandfather? Can you tell me the secret? Tell you what, let us first see if you are a great horseman. Only a De La Vega who rides like the wind is permitted to know the family secret. Oh, I can ride a horse, all right. Watch this! <laughs> Look, Grandpa, how this! Excellent, Diego. There is no question about it. It is your destiny to wear the mask of sorrow. Emergency. No Emergency. way! I pull off the track now and I'm toast! Emergency. This Emergency. better be good. Emergency. Bernardo, what in the... What's this? It can't be. My father's missing? Explain this abomination! Uh, 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 well, uh, uh, you see, Mr. Mayor. Uh, uh... Enough! Tell me, Senor, have I not adequately seen to your financial interests? Uh, uh, sure, boss. Uh, oh, I made out real good this time. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Moron! Read it to me! You can read, can't you? Uh, sure, boss. Uh, uh, kinda. Uh, it says here, Alejandro de la Vega missing. Foul play suspected. Foul play? And whom do they suspect of this foul play? You, boss? That's right. Me! It was your job to convince the media that Alejandro de la Vega had been exposed as a criminal and fled the city in disgrace. But De La Vega owns half of everything in this burg. They love the guy. Ain't nobody gonna listen to me. And I suggest you do a better job convincing them. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor. Uh, whatever you say. Go! <laughs> Vega's been in there two days, and he's still out cold. Guess the boss ain't taking no chances. Yeah, if I was this guy, I'd keep on sleeping, because he ain't gonna be happy when he wakes up. <laughs> hey, what the... No sleeping on the job, you bum. Word is De La Vega's kid is back in town. Boss figures he'll try to come home. Wait till the punk finds out this ain't his home no more. <laughs> I knew this tunnel would come handy someday. 
Sure glad I thought of it when we were kids. Okay, okay, so you thought of it. I don't keep score like some people I know. Let's go, but be careful. The mayor's goons are... Hey, what was that? Everywhere. Over there! anymore. Uh-oh. This ain't good. Ah, do I gotta do everything around here? <laughs> Hasta luego, muchachos. Uh-oh. Oh. Are you okay? Come on. They'll be in here any second. I guess you boys didn't get the memo. This place is now the property of the city of Pueblo Grande. And that means you punks are trespassing. But that's impossible! Take it up with City Hall, kid. The mayor says you don't live here no more. Now get him out of here! Your turn! <laughs> Hey! No! Take him, boy! Bernardo, look! Come on! Hey, what happened? Where'd them kids go? They must have gotten out. Come on, let's go get them. What? What is it, Bernard? <gasps> in the den of El Zorro. My grandfather's journal. Hey, there's a letter here to me. My dearest Diego, if you are reading this letter, you have arrived at what I knew would someday be your destiny. Every generation has its evil, and so every generation must have its sorrow. It, it is, is your, your time, your loving grandfather. Maybe it is my time, Bernardo. The people of Pueblo Grande could use a little help these days. Starting with my father! What do you think he'll say about Zaro now? On your feet, De La Vega. You got a visitor. I trust you've had a nice rest. Martinez. Do you actually think you can get away with this, Horace? You've done a lot of sleazy things, but I never figured you for a kidnapper. There is so much about me you don't know. I know you can't kidnap your opponent in a political race and expect nobody to notice. But it has been noticed. And I must say, your supporters are very disappointed in you, Alejandro. Disappointed in me? Of course. Once they learned you'd been stealing their contributions to support your extravagant lifestyle and then left town to avoid prosecution. Well... What?! It's such a shame when good men go bad, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> 
You can't keep me here, Martinez. I will get out. Of course you will. In fact, you're getting out the right now. I don't understand. I'm moving you to a safer location. That boy of yours has managed to give my people the slip. We don't want any trouble from him. Now do we? Diego? He's in Pueblo Grande? For the moment. Your argument is with me, not Diego. Maybe. But I find that the apple really falls very far from the tree. Yes? Guards! Escort Mr. De La Vega to the holding cell in my office. I want to keep a very close eye on him. Diego has nothing to do with this, Martinez! I swear, if you harm him, you will never be rid of me! I suppose we'll just have to see who is going to be rid of whom. Five more minutes, please. No way. I'm sick. Yeah! Dude, what do you do to me? Hey, you finished it. Oh, this is good. Real good. <laughs> Still need a little practice. So tell me, Bernardo, is everything ready? And you're sure about your intel? It wouldn't be too cool for Zar to break into City Hall only to find there's nobody there to rescue. And let's get going. We still have a lot to do and not much time. Under time, people. I promise I will answer all of your questions. The people deserve no less. Are you there? Mr. Mayor, could you comment on the disappearance of Alejandro de la Vega? What can I say? While we were political rivals, Alejandro de la Vega was a man I very much admired. I even say that he was my friend. Is anyone gonna explain to me what's going on? Don't worry about it. Just sit here and look pretty, senorita. I, like all the citizens of Pueblo Grande, were shocked by the allegations of his crimes and his decision to flee the city. That's your story. Some folks think you arranged for De La Vega to disappear because he was going to take your job. What do you have to say about that? I'd say that people who spread such vicious lies should be very, very careful. Besides, on the night De La Vega disappeared, I was in my office here at City Hall. Both my daughter Maria and my aide, Sergeant Garcia, will verify that this is true. Now, if any of the reporters asked you about last night, your father was in the house. But I have no idea where my father was that night. Me neither. So you're asking me to lie? You don't want to cause trouble for your father, do you, senorita? No, of course I, I don't. If they asked you if your father was at home, just nod your head, yes, and everything will be fine. Uh-uh, not buying it, Mr. Mayor. Everyone knows the dons take their orders from you. You could have had De La Vega snatched without ever leaving your office. That, sir, is a lie. I will listen to no more of this. This press conference is over. Hey, hey, Bring Ichi the hook to my office. It's time to be rid of De La Vega. Permanently. Well, my friend, are we a go? Then I think the moment has arrived. It is time for the world to meet the new and improved. 
Zoro. Andale, tornado. We run. building grid so I can figure out the best way into Martinez's office. Downloading. Downloading. Hmm. Looks like I'm gonna have to do this the hard way. Here goes nothing. So good. Nice job, my friend. Would you kindly disarm the security system? City Hall security system. Disarmed. Okay, I'm going in. Hmm? Did you hear something? Hmm. Let's hope Bernardo's informant's a good one. <clears throat> Alejandro de la Vega. Yes? What is this? Some kind of joke? A joke, senor? Only if you think risking my neck to rescue you is uh, amusing. Do you know who I am? Oh, I know who you are, all right. You're a fairy tale, a fable. So I suggest you get back to the funny farm before you get hurt. <laughs> Does this look like a fairy tale to you, senor? Actually, yes. But at the moment, I don't really care. Let's get out of here! Oh, so now maybe you believe in El Zorro, Senor de la Vega. What I believe is that you're some crackpot with expensive toys. Now, would you like to tell me how we are getting out of here? A very good question, de la Vega. A very good question indeed. Oh, so it seems we are to be honored this evening with a visit from the mayor himself. Enough! Who are you? And what is your interest in De La Vega? My name is El Zorro. El Zorro? He has returned. As for my interests, they extend to all the citizens of Pueblo Grande who are suffering at your hand. Your time is finished, Martinez. <sighs> I am giving the city back to the people. That is very noble, Senor Zorro. Of course, you must first get out of this room alive. Something I would not count on if I were you. Take him! Stay down! Whoa! This ain't good! Do something, Sergeant! And now, Your Honor, if you'd be good enough to turn around and face the door. No, I'm not going to. I said turn around. Whoa. A little something. <laughs> 
to remember me by. You are very sure of yourself, Senor Zorro. But I would not be so confident. <laughs> See, my friend, you're going nowhere. <laughs> Order your men to kill the force beast! Now! Oh, De La Vega's faith is in your hands, Senor Zorro. I think there is only one thing you can do. Surrender. Oh, I wouldn't be too sure about that. How does the saying go? Where there's a will, there's a way. Not another one. Looks like you boys are kinda in a jam. What is this? Halloween? Well, if that's the way you feel about it, I'll just let you boys find a way out of here yourselves. <laughs> As if you have a prayer. You know a way out? <sighs> Am I the best dressed superhero in Pueblo Grande? I can't wait to see what happens next. <laughs>